If you are here, it means you are a video editor or photo editor and you are looking for the monitor to help you produce desired results just like musician does. Well, this is the work of art and we are the artists. We paint the image and imagine not being able to paint the picture correctly. That would be a neg. So we will look into ASUS ProArt PA248QV professional monitor here. I have two of them on my desk. Welcome to Her Ink Studios. If you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and let's jump right in. Let's look into what you get when you buy the specific Pro Art display. In the box, you get the display in good condition, of course, thanks to the foam guards, display port to display port cable, HDMI to HDMI cable, VGA to HDMI cable, USB B to A type cable, Pro Art display color calibration testing report. Welcome to ASUS ProArt Family Card, ASUS VIP member notice, and your power cord. Sometimes this power cord won't work according to the country that you are in. Let's jump into the specification for this specific monitor. ProArt Display PA248QV is a 24.1 inch monitor designed to certify the needs of a creative professional from photo to video editing up until graphic design. Offers rich connectivity with DisplayPort 1.2, HDMI version 1.4, DSA ports, and built-in USB hub. So it's easy to hook up to a wide variety of devices and enjoy ultra-fast transfer speeds with external storage, catering to every content creation demands. It comes with international color standards of 100% sRGB and 100% Rec. 709 white color gamut. The display is Kalman verified with factory pre-calibrated for excellence color accuracy with Delta E of less than 2. What that means is it's pretty accurate. It comes with ASUS ProArt preset. ProArt palette provides several adjustable color parameters and preset modes. It has 75 Hz refresh rate and adaptive sync technology, 48 to 75 Hz to animated content with fast action and eliminate screen tearing. They come with built-in speakers. Well, of course, this is not the reason for buying these monitors. You need real studio monitors for that purpose. If you need music, beats, and merchandise to complement the music too, then check out saltyboybeats.com. Link in the description. They have the best economically designed stands with tilt, swivel, pivot, height adjustments. Pro Art Display provide comfortable viewing and usage experience. The ability to pivot the screen clockwise, counterclockwise 90 degree for use in portrait mode comes in handy when working with long documents, coding, or website browsing. Furthermore, the quick release stands makes it easy to attach the display via the integrated VESA wall mount. Screw free, so it's done in seconds. And you have ASUS Flicker Free technology provide more comfortable viewing experience and work environment by reducing on-screen flicker to minimize eye strain, headaches, and eye fatigue when spending long hours in front of your display. This means no need for blue light glasses. This display surface is non glare so you have less reflections on these displays, making it better to do your color grading, creative uh, work that you are trying to do. So I prefer these displays. And the display viewing area is 518.4 by 324 millimeters. And you have this nice frameless design with buttons integrated into the display, nicely so. And you have the engraved ruler markings we can now jump into the menu of this display, like one by one and look at what we can get. Obviously, I don't know these displays to the fullest, but I use them for most of the videos that are edited on this channel. So bear with me. So welcome again to High Ink Studio. So what we're going to be doing here is to just present this button menu. What you get when you get the screens is you have these nice buttons here. So it's six of them counting from the on off button or power button it's one two three four five six is six of them the first one here is where you can switch on and switch off your screen and then you have the indicator so when it's white it means it's on and then when it's on standby it's going to be amber color and then gray for when it's just off obviously when you get into the standby you don't have to switch off anything you just switch off your HDMI connector and then from there it's going to go off automatically. 
So let's just go into the menu button. Pressing it once, you will get your menu and then you can press it second time to get your menu. So you have your pro art preset and then you can move using the down arrow button or move up using the up button. And then to enter into that uh, functionality, you just have to press that uh, tick there. Then you can enter into whatever you want and then you can move now uh, to whatever mode you are looking for. So normally the screens, I use them for Rec 709, so let's just go to Rec 709. And it's a little bit darker, you can see on the camera. I don't know if it can do you any favor. Then you have your out button, then you have your exit button. So this button here, you can just exit and then we just close off everything. So let's take one, two, three, three now. It's your cancel button, obviously. So you can cancel, get in, cancel again. So this is your close button. Then number four, one, two, three, four is your quick fit button. Here you have a couple of functions that you can use. Let's just press it again. So you have your ruler and you have your alignment. You have your A4, your A5 page. So anyway, we don't do anything on the A5 page, but people that are working in Photoshop and trying to get their realism uh, page sizes can use those functions. Anyway, let me get go back in again. Where the more I, I just explain, the more it just goes out. But anyway, I'm getting into this ruler. You can see it's in inches. What if I don't want inches, I want millimeters. Let's do that. Uh, let me uh, bring that again. You see, now we are in millimeters. We're no longer in inches. This is a good thing about this. So anyway, let's uh, cancel this. We get out of it and then we go to the next menu. So alignment. So this is something that uh, you get like uh, alignment grid, like you get it on the camera. You're trying to make sure that the actor is positioned in the middle. So let's just get that, uh, rid of that. Cancel. And then uh, let's just go for another one, which is A4. Go in here. So you can see now the screen is uh, just everything like it's grayed out every other part, but then you only have the, your A4 page showing in. Five, shortcut for brightness. I can increase the brightness from here. Go all the way up. Still on Rugged 709, by the way. Then go all the way down to 50%, which it was set. And then just keep it there. Cancel. Then, okay, the other one is just your blue light filter. But something that you have to know is these screens will always be on level zero. And that is applying to whatever uh, you are trying to get, pro art preset that you are trying to get, Rec 709 or whatever pro art preset. So on these screens at the moment, I'm normally using level zero and never went up uh, to any level because I'm working with Rec 709 and it's my preferred uh, pro art preset. If you made it this far, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, like this video for the YouTube algorithm, of course. You don't have to do it, but do it for the algorithm. I'll see you in the next video.